James Gunn's DC. Oh, now, yeah. are there any mm-hmm. characters that you would just love to get your hands on? No, we, we've been talking about it, and there's like one specific character that, that he's thinking of. <laughs> Hello, Hello. how are you two doing? I'll tell you what, it's really nice to um, be in England being with, uh, you know, my natives. Yeah? Having, yeah, it's really nice. Do you want me to really really up the Englishness as well? Yeah, I guess. If I have like a cup of tea and a monocle or something. Yeah, I know. (laughs) Well, we we are walking cliches in many ways. I'll go full. But this is a matcha, so it doesn't look quite the same thing. I'll go full downtown Abbey. Downtown Abbey, I mean, Downtown. Downtown Abbey. Can you do a curtsy? Let me give it a go. Is that British? Uh, how yes. I, do I don't know. Oh, it's God, very downtown Abbey. Yeah, the knees, no. Yeah. Oh, no. My right. knees crack, too. They make mm. so much noise. It's horrible. It's like popcorn. You're like an action star. At least I've got an excuse. Yeah, but she that's why. She does high kicks. That's the thing. She's oh, like, yeah, that's my excuse. I'm always high, high kicking. But, guys, let's, uh, let's chat Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning. I mean, Vanessa, this is your second of three Mission Impossible films that you're going to star in. So you must have some incredible wild memories of being a part of this. Yeah, oh my goodness. And it started, when did I get the job? 2015 or 16? I just finished series one of a, a show called The Crown. And I left that set. I <clears throat> traveled on the train, the last train out to Paris, and then was filming at seven in the morning the next day. And I was just, it was the wildest experience I've ever had. Pom, when I say this, I, I'm not exaggerating. But after seeing you in this, I kind of want you to be my best friend. Like, I want you to oh be my, my God, best friend. Oh my God, really? Yeah, this such real- Such a violent best friend. Oh yeah, but it's still so much better than my other best friends. Like, if they're watching this, sorry. But like, <laughs> you're just the best. And Cute. the fact that you managed to take on Tom Cruise is chef's kiss. Like, it's so cool, that whole fight sequence. But these stunts can be dangerous. Like, has one ever gone wrong and you've accidentally like punched Tom Cruise in the face? Um, no. <laughs> but, but, but that was uh, one of my thoughts where I had to stay positive and to convince myself that um, I wouldn't do that. So, you know, like fighting, it's a lot of training, but it's all, also a lot of like what is your in your mind, you know? So if, if, if before going to bed, I would just like visualize the scene and go through the movements and be like super positive, you know? Um, and it went really well, you know, like he's, of course, he's incredible at what he does. He's so uh, incredible at action and all the fight stuff. But also I, I had a lot of time to train and, um, and you know, I'm, I'm precise and you, you work on the on the distance to make sure that you uh, you stop before actually hitting the person. And it's all about the camera angle and how to sell the, the move and how to sell. Uh, getting hit and all these things, you know? That's why when you was my best friend, none of my friends have ever come close to punching Tom Cruise. So <laughs> that's such a good story. And Vanessa, of course, Hayley. You you must know her pretty well. I've just spoke to her and I think she's the loveliest human I've ever met in my whole life. Like, I learned so much about her. She's a ventriloquist. I've learned that she can do magic. She was in a Pringles advert. But you must know some more about her. Is there anything that you know about her that would just blow my mind? Blow the mind. I mean, not that I could say in <laughs> oh, <laughs> camera um, for her on her behalf. No, but I, I completely agree with you. And we, in COVID, we lived near to each other. And our trainer, Sam Eastwood, who's amazing, lived also in South London. And we would go on these long training runs. It was, it was literally the only thing that we, in our day, like, it was our one activity we were allowed to do, is go on a run and we'd go together. and. So we bonded so much, we became like sisters, you know, because we were in really weird times. Mm-hmm. We went through so many ups and downs, over tears, random, you know, outbursts of mad laughter in the middle of, you know, it was it was really bonding. Finally, I'm being told I've got rap, but Pom, I just want to ask you one thing. I mean, after seeing this, you in this, I kind of want you to be cast in everything, including, oh, thank you. <laughs> including my boy, James Gunn's DC. Oh, now, yeah. I'm sure you two have had conversations about this, but are there any mm-hmm. characters that you would just love to get your hands on? Uh, I'm gonna tell you, I'm not gonna tell you which character. No, we, we've been talking about it and there's like one specific character that, that he's thinking of and I think it would be really, really awesome. It would like, continue like doing action too, so it's exciting. 